Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about building a CI/CD pipeline for your API using WSO2 API Manager. I am Malin Tamrasinghe, an Associate Technical Lead from WSO2 API Manager team. This is about an example company that has a running business on selling mobile phones and they are planning to expand their business by exposing an API called Mobile Store. Also, they are going to release an e-commerce web application called MyStore to sell mobile phones online. The company has two environments as shown here, which are the development environment and the production environment. The API and application developers will only be doing development tasks in the development environment. And they won't be doing any manual things in the production environment. In order to migrate the API and the application to the production environment, they have to do it via an automated pipeline. As the first step, they will be creating the API and the application in the dev environment using the API manager portals. After that, the API and the application have to be exported from the dev environment. For that, the CLI tooling available in API manager will be used, which we call the API controller. Once the projects are exported, those need to be committed to the GitHub repository. After that, the CI/CD pipeline process will fetch the API and the application projects from the GitHub repository and deploy them into the production environment. Okay, now Alice has logged into the uh, publisher portal of the development environment and now she is going to create the API using create new API button and uh, uh, she chooses uh, I have existing REST API option because she already have a Fragger definition of the mobile store REST API and uh, she uh, import it and click next and uh, some of the fields are already populated from the Fragger definition and uh, provide uh, context as mobile store. And select some uh, business plans. And also she provides uh, the backend endpoint as the, uh, the development en environment backend. So uh, click on create. So the API will be created like this and uh, the resources will be imported from the Saga definition and also uh, because we provided the endpoints and the business plan, we can readily publish the API. So uh, Alice will publish the API like this. Uh, click on the publish button. So the API is successfully published now. As the next step, Alice has to export the API that she already created and then that project has to be pushed to GitHub. Okay, I'm running the API CTL command on behalf of Alice. So uh, API CTL is a command line tool provided by WSO2 API Manager for importing and exporting APIs and applications uh, between different environments of WSO2 API Manager. Before uh, running any operation, uh, we have to introduce the available environments of uh, environments into API CTL. Uh, for that, uh, we can use uh, this command, uh, which is API CTL add environment. Uh, so Alice, as a first step, does this. So basically, uh, add environment with we need to provide the environment name and also the API manager endpoint and also the token endpoint of the gateway. So, and after that, uh, Alice has to log in to the development environment. So, this command will be used. Okay, uh, Alice has successfully logged into the development environment now. So, now uh, she can easily export the APIs uh, using this export API command. So, before that, uh, she can list the uh, available APIs uh, using the API CTL. Uh, the command is API CTL list APIs minus E and the development uh, environment name. And these are the APIs that are available in the development environment uh, right now. Uh, 
so basically, uh, Alice can proceed with exporting the API uh, as the next step. Okay, uh, Alice uses uh, export API command to export the mobile store API. So this command is successfully executed, and uh, the location of the exported API project uh, is shown like this. So uh, as the next step, what Alice does is uh, exporting this API project into a GitHub repository. Uh, so this needs to be unzipped into a GitHub repository. So uh, there's an already cloned GitHub, GitHub repository called API CICD. So uh, the project will be unzipped into this location. This uh, project can be open from uh, this Visual Studio code. Uh, so basically, uh, this project, exported project, uh, contains a couple of files. Uh, so these are the API metadata, uh, and also this is the Swagger definition of the exported API. Uh, and uh, let me uh, create a new file at this point called API params. YAML. So basically, this file contains some of the API specific import parameters. Uh, let me use uh, this one uh, as the API parameters file content. So uh, it contains uh, the dev environment, uh, API production and sandbox URL, and also the production environment APIs, uh, production and sandbox URL. And uh, apart from that, uh, it uh, specifies what are some of the import related, API importing related uh, options such as uh, update and preserve provider. Update means uh, the API can be updated and overridden over and over again when you import it. And also preserve provider means uh, it, we are instructing the API CTL uh, to preserve the original provider of the API when importing the API. Okay, now uh, Alice can uh, push this uh, project to the GitHub. And if I refresh this page, so you can see this uh, mobile store project is added, added to GitHub. Okay, now in the same way, David, who is the app developer, uh, has created the application you, which consumes the mobile store API, which is my store, and then uh, he's going to export the application using API controller and push that uh, exported application project into the same GitHub repository. So let's have a look at those steps. Okay, now David has logged into the developer portal of the development environment. So uh, in applications, uh, he's going to create a new application called my store. Okay, uh, click on save. And then uh, he's uh, going to subscribe to the API on the subscription. Uh, uh, now subscribe to the mobile store API. And now, uh, he's going to generate uh, client ID and secret. Okay, now uh, he'll can generate a token using the scopes that he required. Right. Now, uh, if we uh, go to the test page and uh, try to invoke the API, so uh, the David so David can invoke the API uh, successfully so that he can uh, receive the response as well. Let's look at how this application can be exported using API controller now. First of all, David has to log into the development environment using the login command, and then uh, he can use uh, list apps command to list the applications in the development environment. 
we can see this voice to app is available there and then uh, you can use export app command to export the voice to application so uh, here we have uh, david has specified this uh, with keys option because he want to uh, export the application with uh, the client id and secret and also subscriptions as well so as similar to the previous case uh, this project need to be unzipped to the uh, git repository and then uh, this can be opened from the uh, vs code because we want to create a new file here as well uh, so we are creating it The file is called application params.yaml. So here we are, here we are also specifying some of the import related parameters uh, from the update to we specify that this application can be updated over and over, over again by importing it and then uh, preserve own as true means uh, we are instructing to preserve the original owner and check Skip keys means we have to skip uh, the uh, importing of uh, the development environment keys and uh, production environment should have a new set of keys. And also we specify skip subscriptions as false because we want to import the existing subscriptions. So now uh, we uh, can add this project to the uh, GitHub repository. The next step is to push this two projects into the production environment. For that, uh, there should be a CI/CD pipeline that pulls the two projects from GitHub and then execute the API controller command to deploy the two projects into the production environment. Okay, uh, so I am executing API CTL commands on behalf of the uh, CICD process uh, pipeline process. So here this uh, repository with the two projects are already cloned. So as a first step, uh, I have to add the uh, production environment to API CTL using add environment command. And then uh, I'm logging to the production environment. Now we can push the two projects to the production environment using a very simple command using uh, which is api cdl vcs deploy so let me go ahead and uh, show this command so you can see this uh, two projects are successfully imported to the production environment uh, so now if we go to the uh, publisher portal of the production environment we can see that uh, uh, the mobile store app, uh, api is deployed there and also uh, if you uh, refresh the uh, production environment application page of uh, David user and see this uh, Maestro application is imported there and also there is a subscription. So this subscription is the subscription that we previously created for uh, mobile store that was uh, exported and imported in the production environment and especially here uh, we can see this uh, uh, the keys are not imported because we specified that as skip keys so uh, the production environment should have a fresh set of keys so basically uh, we can uh, click on generate keys and uh, create a new set of keys like this so okay so that uh, comes to the end of this uh, demonstration Hope you could learn some basics of a typical API management CSED process by this demonstration. And thank you. Uh, have a good day.